Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel here in a biking trip in Manchester Township, New Jersey. And I bumped into Bob here. Bob just picked up this really sweet 2013 Pleasure Way motorhome here. It's a, uh, they call them a Class B Plus. It's not a camper van, but it's not a full Class C with a cab over. And uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about it today and give us a tour. Bob, welcome to New Jersey Outdoor Adventures. Hi, Patrick. Glad to be here. Uh, this is actually for my wife's RV. She wanted something smaller that's even more comfortable driving. Uh, so, come on in. We had a larger RV and she really wasn't comfortable driving it, especially by herself or with a friend. So. Uh, she was able to find this, the smaller 22 foot pleasure way. Uh, right in the front entry here, we've got a pull down where you can get to the water pump for winterization if there's any problems. And then of course it also has the workstation that pulls out, sets up. And when you do that, you can turn the chair around. I haven't actually done this yet. <laughs> so this is a motorhome that you just picked up from a private party locally. Uh, yeah, you've had just picked it up yesterday afternoon. Flew in from Arkansas, and we're heading back. But uh, so you can spin the chair all the way around. Uh, driver's seat as well. Got the Blu-ray player, TV cores, big storage. Um, inverter for when you're not on shore power that also ties into the storage over here and more storage for you for shoes and you've got basically your wardrobe closet we didn't bring any hangers so we don't have anything hanging and just so you folks know they flew in from Arkansas uh, after seeing this one for sale online and went through with the previous owner and now they're heading back home so um, you know they're still in the discovery stage with a lot of stuff because they just learned how it all worked <laughs> yeah and you got the vent of course looks like the clothes I think uh, and it's actually got a thermometer so you can check, set the temperature however you want got the full shower which I'm six foot two almost 200 pounds since I haven't been exercising and uh, I actually fit fairly well in there the toilets a little bit tight uh, but seems to work pretty well and tiny sink got the, the lights and the water pump switch And if you want to see, you've got a couple of nice cabinets and tail bar. And if you want some privacy, doors will lock open. Uh, this one door will lock closed as well. And I kind of like the they got mirrors on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Which kind of nice, makes it feel a little bit more spacious. And of course, if you want to do some grooming or something. More storage right above the door. Which I absolutely love. Two RVs ago we had that, and our current, our old RV doesn't have it, which I miss. Because I find it very useful got the monitoring system monitoring your uh, oops, monitor your fresh water black water gray water battery propane all that stuff uh, and then kind of your main control panel for lights primarily for it's got automatic shades in the back uh, and we can turn all the lights on we can run the shades down. Uh, 
it's bringing down both of them right now the the blackout as well as the normal shade and of course your kitchen area uh, decent sized sink with a drain and a plug uh, kind of like this these areas here for spices salt and pepper uh, storage underneath which we're using for dirty clothes right now and maybe trash uh, got an outlet here which is nice bunch of drawers nice big one a couple more and then the heater propane heater right there got two burner propane stove previous owner said he didn't think it ever been used <laughs> which it almost looks like uh, air conditioner uh, pretty standard I think uh, got more storage above the counter little two bottle wine rack I'm not sure what we'll use that for all our health food uh, and then basically a bunch of other storage all the way through most of these we can see I think they need to be adjusted but they have hold opens to hold them open uh, and once I get some tools there you go on it works uh, I'll be able to adjust those and get them all working so yeah ton of storage everywhere and I can reach almost all of it even with the bed made already you got this control panel over here too as well as the heater thermostat and the control panel kind of your standard microwave uh, as near as I can tell a normal freezer and fridge runs on LP or shore power can you tell us a little bit about the the bed setup? I know you have it all set up, so we don't need you to bring it up. But this, does this convert into some type of seating area? Yeah, this is actually, like I mentioned, I'm six foot two. I fit on the bed pretty nicely, pretty comfortable bed as well. Uh, it's actually kind of a circular couch when it's not a bed. Pretty easy to to make. You pull the cushions out of the from the back of the couch, basically the back seat. And they've got two of these nice plywood boards that you slide in. They store up in the uh, wardrobe, and you got the full uh, full bed then, queen size. There's also storage underneath. Uh, you can't really get to it the way it's set up right now, but there is storage under the couch as well. And we got this big skylight up here, more or less, which needs some adjustment as well. But you've got kind of the blackout shade. Like I said, need some adjustment. Uh, and then push up vent, which is actually nice getting warm today. And then if you've got that open, you can pull the screen across, keep bugs out. on the AC. <laughs> kind of a standard screen door. With the wide entry, I've been told. <laughs> oh yeah, the power awning. Got a switch right here. Uh, yeah, so our last awning was kind of a chore to open and close. So this one's pretty nice. <laughs> got the porch light there's of course a control panel in there with the switches uh, it has multiple out outdoor lights little storage area with the nice insulated door pretty decent sized storage This vent, a couple outdoor receptacles, big storage area. All the way through. 
which you may not be able to see, but it goes all the way across to the driver's side. So something long. Uh, you got the main battery disconnect here. Oh, sorry. As well as the generator and another one. And then a couple of house batteries. And, uh, yeah, on the back we've got an spare which is covered, which I like, keep it out of the sun. Uh, got the hitch, got that full panel, basically back cap, fiberglass, uh, backup camera of course, which I think is mandatory pretty much, some kind of TV receiver on the roof. got the storage that connects to the other side uh, we've got a big long screen tent which should fit in there just fine Let's store the electric cord in there got the fuel filler here pretty big door cover for that Whew. pop it out We've got the propane connection to fill propane and the sewer hose storage. And that's for the bridge and microwave or vent. Previous owner ran into a bollard at a gas station, so be careful out there. Here we got the generator. Shore power hookup, cable TV hookup, if you want that, and city water. All pretty handy. Water heater, I think it's six gallon. Uh, LP water heater, of course. You got the power mirrors. I don't know if you want to see the cab. Built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10. Seems to have plenty of power so far. We've got our two little military mini bees that travel with us on most of our trips if we remember them. <laughs> All right, back up to the passenger side front. We've got the fresh tank water fill. Lock. And uh, of course, we just picked this up in a week or so. We'll probably have a couple thousand miles on it. Uh, but we've we've had a couple of larger RVs, one 32 foot, one 34 foot. And uh, the good possible good thing with the larger one is lots of storage space. Uh, the current 31 foot we have doesn't have a lot of storage space. This 22 foot actually has probably more storage space than our 31 foot, which is nice. We really like the, the floor plan with the bed that's big enough for both of us to sleep on and the full shower, which I really like. Uh, one of the disadvantages we found with the larger one is you can't take it everywhere. So we ended up towing a trailer with our Jeep on it usually if we wanted to take a trip into town or something like that uh, which is kind of a pain it makes it a, for a super long and about a five mile a gallon uh, trip uh, overall so kind of inconvenient uh, last time we did that we actually took the deep off the trailer twice so it's kind of a, a hassle as well uh, with something this short it's barely well it's probably not much longer than my pickup truck at home so uh, we can drive just about anywhere, I think, with it and do short trips, day trips, go to a museum, uh, shopping, whatever, without too much hassle, which I think will be a, a good thing. Now, some of our viewers are going to wonder, 
you know, why you why Pleasure Way? Um, I see this is a, a called the Pleasure Way Pursuit. Uh, in your research stages, uh, what made you steer towards this brand versus some of the other ones that were out there? Well, primarily the uh, we were just looking for the floor plan that worked, and like I said, like the floor plan, doing some research. The quality of the Pleasure Way looked pretty good from what I've seen. Had never seen one in person because I guess they don't make very many of them. Uh, but primarily the quality and the floor plan, the layout, uh, is what really convinced us, I think. Well, thank you for taking the time to give us a quick tour of your Pleasureway motorhome. Just uh, to recap, this is a 2013 Pleasureway Pursuit on the E350 chassis with the 6.8 liter V10 engine, and it's approximately 22 foot long. And it appears that it's just over like ten and a half foot. It's it's definitely shorter than my rig over there. Yeah, the, uh, they got a little sticker on the front that says ten foot six. There you go for the height. <laughs> well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I'd love it, and we'll see you soon.